crollata una parte di parete di tuffo in acqua. It began with a low rumble. Then the ground cracked open. Buildings swayed. Terrified residents poured into the streets, and off the coast something unthinkable happened. Penata Islet, a piece of volcanic history, was shattered by the most powerful earthquake Campi Flegre has unleashed in over 40 years. This wasn't just another tremor. It was a deafening warning from one of the world's most dangerous supervolcanoes. Located just miles from Naples and home to over six million people, Campi Flegre is now showing signs of escalating unrest. Scientists are stunned not only by the magnitude of the quake, but by where and how deep it struck. And now, the question echoing across Italy and the scientific world is this. Is the supervolcano preparing for something far more catastrophic? In this video, we dive deep into the latest data, shocking expert warnings, and the chilling implications of what may be unfolding beneath southern Italy. Because if Campi Flegre is truly waking up, the world needs to pay attention. Houses trembled violently, swaying like leaves caught in a storm. A cliff gave way, crashing into the sea below. Panic swept through the streets as terrified residents fled, unsure of what might come next. The source of the fear, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, among the most powerful ever recorded at Campi Flegre, a restless supervolcano near Naples that threatens millions. What made this quake particularly unsettling was not just its strength, but its location and depth, both of which diverged from typical patterns. Scientists noted its similarities to another 4.6 magnitude event that struck in March, the most powerful since the last known eruption of the caldera. Together, they may signal an escalating trend beneath the surface, Leading volcanologists and geophysicists have issued grave warnings. One expert emphasized the danger of assuming normalcy in a system so complex and poorly understood. Campi Flegre, they explain, behave in ways that defy clear forecasting. The volcano's internal processes are accelerating, seismicity is increasing, gas emissions are intensifying, and underground pressure appears to be building at an alarming rate. Some scientists are calling for more transparency, arguing that the public deserves to know the full extent of the uncertainty and the risk. The day's seismic sequence began with the powerful 4.6 magnitude tremor, followed by a swarm of smaller aftershocks, magnitudes 2.2, 1.6, 1.0, 1 1.3 and more, with dozens of quakes in total. These numbers only reflect those above magnitude 1. In reality, the ground has been trembling almost continuously. The epicentre of the main quake was offshore near Bacoli, but still within the bounds of the Campi Flegre caldera. A landslide followed shortly after, adding to the chaos. This earthquake struck at a depth of 4.9 kilometres and was felt across a wide region from Procida to Naples and even along the Domitian coast. Experts say it was likely the second most energetic seismic event within the caldera in modern times, on par with the March quake, and more powerful than any other recorded in recent years. What truly sets this quake apart is its location. It occurred farther west and deeper underground than any magnitude 4 or greater earthquake previously observed in the area. Most seismic activity at Campi Flegre usually concentrates between the neighbourhoods of Bagnoli and Pozzuoli, where a powerful hydrothermal system channels underground gases and fluids toward the surface. This region also experiences the most intense ground uplift, an indicator of magma or gas pressure pushing upward. In the caldera, an ongoing process of bradyseism continues to deform the ground, with the central and eastern sectors experiencing noticeable uplift. In contrast, the western section remains comparatively still, which makes powerful earthquakes less frequent, but not impossible. The limited vertical movement there suggests lower crustal tension, reducing, but not eliminating, the likelihood of seismic activity. The most recent noteworthy earthquake before the current events occurred on July 26, 2024, registering at a magnitude 4. Its depth and location are significant. 
Earthquakes occurring in the Gulf of Pozzuoli and along the coastal areas stretching from Miseno to Monte Nuovo typically have deeper hypercenters. This is due to the presence of complex fault systems that accommodate the mechanical stresses from different sectors of the caldera, central, eastern and western, each responding differently to the ongoing deformation. The structure of the Campi Flegre caldera is intricate, marked by a wide ring and intersected by several subcalderas and fault zones. These features suggest that the system's behaviour is far from simple. According to leading scientists from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, including senior figures like Mauro Lorenzo and Giuseppe Di Natale, the situation is being monitored with increasing concern. While it's impossible to predict whether larger earthquakes or a phreatic eruption will occur soon, signs point to continued unrest. Historically, eruptions in this region have followed a pattern where a phreatic explosion caused by steam, rather than magma, acts as a precursor, carving out a pathway for magma to eventually follow. The Monte Nuovo eruption, which gave birth to a new volcanic cone, is a stark reminder of this sequence. With the ground still rising at approximately 1.5 centimetres per month, the potential for further seismic events remains high. Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, a volcanologist with the Vesuvius Observatory under the INGV, has long warned of the potential for escalation. In the aftermath of the latest magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest in this area in four decades, he issued another appeal. Emergency plans must be updated and preparation for a possible eruption must not be delayed. He emphasizes that not enough has been done to mitigate the risks. This recent quake, alongside another 4.6 event from March, marks a concerning shift. Traditionally, the Gulf of Pozzuoli was not considered a hotspot for the most powerful tremors. Areas like Picciarelli and, to a lesser extent, Agnano were believed to be more at risk. That assumption may now need revisiting. One of the greatest concerns lies in the vulnerability of local infrastructure. In areas like Poggioli, even moderate seismic activity has already led to structural damage, ceilings have collapsed, and older buildings have shown signs of failure. If magnitudes rise toward 5.0 or beyond, widespread destruction becomes increasingly likely. Mastro Lorenzo speaks with measured urgency, avoiding panic, yet his words carry weight. He stresses that framing this ongoing activity as normal is a dangerous mistake. The system beneath Campi Flegre remains only partially understood, and it is precisely this uncertainty that presents the most significant risk. Over the past months, a series of groundbreaking scientific studies have painted an increasingly troubling picture of the Campi Flegre volcanic system. While earlier assumptions leaned towards stability, recent findings confirm quite the opposite a pattern of growing instability and escalating risk. These studies point to a complex underground structure riddled with weak zones that could allow magma to penetrate the surface with little warning. One expert, speaking candidly in contrast to many of his peers, challenged the long-standing notion that the highest magnitude earthquakes would be limited to the narrow zone near Pozzuoli. The recent offshore earthquake near Bayer, which caused significant damage in the town of Bacoli, an area traditionally considered outside the high-risk zone, has shattered that illusion. His message was clear. The idea that scientists can pinpoint exactly where the strongest quakes will strike is dangerously flawed. He further emphasised that this volcano is anything but predictable. What may appear on the surface as a lull in activity is in fact deceptive. Gas emissions are steadily increasing, one of the key forces pressurising the crust and causing the uplift that has become a hallmark of the current crisis. According to the latest research, the crust overlying the magma chamber is now so fractured and weakened that its ability to contain an eruption is becoming increasingly questionable. The scientist didn't hold back. He warned that official messaging has often been marred by communication failures and false reassurances. Instead of acknowledging the uncertainty, many institutions have opted to soothe public fears by emphasising how closely the area is being monitored. But, as he rightly pointed out, monitoring alone doesn't prevent a disaster, 
it merely documents the lead-up to one. One of the more respected voices in the field, Dr. Giuseppe de Natale, has long argued that the current Bredisaism, this slow, deep inflation of the ground, is not part of a normal cycle. Unlike minor seismic fluctuations seen in less dangerous regions, Bredisaism at Campi Flegre has historically occurred only before or after eruptions. And since no eruption has taken place for decades, the conclusion he draws is deeply unsettling. This is the before. Even more alarming, the expert criticised his own institution, the INGV, for overstating the certainty of its models. He admitted that previous declarations about fully understanding the ongoing Bradyseism were not only premature, but deeply flawed. The current episode, he stated, is fundamentally different from anything recorded in the past twenty years and cannot be interpreted with outdated frameworks. He was not alone in his concern. Other leading scientists, including Roberto Scandone, voiced similar warnings well before the latest crisis intensified. Scandone once remarked that if the decision were his, he would have already ordered an evacuation. Now, even official communications from the INGV suggest that relocation might be necessary, though the language remains cautious, perhaps in an effort to avoid public panic or economic fallout. The sobering reality is that Bradyseism has already triggered the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the area, and some models suggest that even more powerful quakes, potentially exceeding magnitude 5, remain within the realm of possibility. The notion that the situation is fully understood or under control no longer holds water. The system is evolving and not in a reassuring direction. Scientists monitoring the Campi Flegre caldera have reported a concerning development. The underlying forces driving the phenomenon known as Bradyseism are intensifying. For those unfamiliar, Bradyseism refers to the gradual uplift of land caused by volcanic activity beneath the surface. This process is often accompanied by increased seismicity, elevated temperatures, rising gas emissions and more active fumaroles. According to leading volcanologists, the engine behind this activity, a massive supervolcano, is showing signs of renewed strength. One of the most telling indicators is a sharp rise in carbon dioxide emissions, which have nearly doubled in recent years. These gases, some of which were detected accumulating inside buildings, have even caused residents to experience dizziness, highlighting the immediacy of the threat. While earthquakes are the most visible manifestations of this unrest, experts emphasize that they represent only a small fraction of the energy being released within the system. Recent seismic events are especially troubling. The latest quake was not only powerful, but also occurred at a significant depth, suggesting a broader activation of the volcanic system. Monitoring instruments confirm that this is not an isolated incident, but part of an escalating pattern. The current phase of Bradyseism appears to be accelerating, and scientists stress that the magnitude or number of earthquakes isn't the only concern. It's the growing scale and reach of the underlying geophysical changes. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the timing of a potential eruption, it could be centuries away or occur far sooner, experts agree that preparation must begin now. Emergency protocols need urgent updates, and evacuation routes should be established and tested. Equally pressing is the need to retrofit vulnerable structures in the area to withstand more powerful tremors. This warning is echoed by long-time researchers like Giuseppe de Natale, who has voiced his frustration for years over the lack of decisive action. De Natale, who has been sounding the alarm since at least 2018, criticised the tendency of both authorities and the public to downplay the seriousness of Bredyseism. According to his assessment, the quake, alongside a similarly strong tremor on March 13th, represents one of the most powerful seismic events recorded in the area since the catastrophic eruption of Monte Nuovo in 1538, a gap of more than four centuries. Though no serious injuries were reported this time, De Natale recalled a March incident where a ceiling collapse nearly killed a woman, underscoring the potential for disaster. Let's hope our luck doesn't run out, he remarked grimly, as the ground beneath Campi Flegre continues to shift quietly but relentlessly. 
A glance at the recent seismic map reveals a pattern of escalating activity. The most recent event, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, occurring at a shallow depth of just 3.9 kilometers, stands out prominently. This region has experienced several significant tremors over the past year. In July 2024, a magnitude 4.0 quake was recorded, followed by another measuring 4.4 on May 13th. Yet another 4.6 magnitude shock occurred on March 13th. These events are clustered around a known danger zone that includes the Solfatara Crater, an area marked by persistent fumarolic activity. This isn't new. Back in 2023, a magnitude 4.0 quake struck the same vicinity. But on May 20th, 2024, a particularly intense 4.4 magnitude earthquake rattled the area with such force that it incited widespread panic. Residents poured into the streets, gripped by fear, a reaction that underscored how deeply the ground beneath them had disturbed their sense of safety. All of these quakes fall within the boundary of the Campi Flegre caldera, one of the most dangerous volcanic systems on Earth. Experts have long warned that should an eruption occur beneath the bay, it could unleash a tsunami towering up to 100 feet, racing toward the coastline and threatening Naples and its surrounding area, home to over six million people. The situation remains fluid, and seismic swarms continue to evolve. Scientists and residents alike watch with growing concern, knowing that each tremor could be a prelude to something far more catastrophic. Meanwhile, in Bardonecchia, about 700 kilometers from Campi Flegre, torrents of black, debris-laden water surged down the mountain slopes, engulfing a small village with alarming speed. The chilling sight of the mud flow, dark, fast-moving and relentless, evoked memories of the catastrophic 2011 tsunami in Japan, where similar waves of muddy water devoured everything in their path. This time, the destruction struck the town of Bionaz in the Aosta Valley region, following intense storms and prolonged rainfall in the surrounding highlands. Triggered by severe weather, powerful runoff from the saturated mountains carried immense volumes of sediment, rocks and uprooted vegetation into riverbeds, which quickly transformed into violent channels of destruction. As the cascading debris roared into inhabited areas, tragedy struck. A 70-year-old local resident, an esteemed organic farmer known for his community shop, was swept away in his car by the force of the mudslide. Witnesses described the harrowing moment the vehicle was engulfed by the current and dragged downstream. Despite rapid response efforts, his body was later discovered by rescue teams. Emergency services were immediately mobilized. Helicopters circled overhead, while ground crews, including firefighters and specialized units from neighboring towns, worked tirelessly to reach those stranded by the floodwaters. Over ten residents were evacuated, including four individuals trapped inside their vehicles. Fortunately, all those rescued were reported to be in stable condition. The magnitude of the event prompted authorities to issue a state of maximum alert. State Road 335, a major artery in the region, was rendered impassable as mud, boulders and tree trunks blocked all lanes. Bridges were declared off-limits and a red zone was established around the riverbanks to prevent further casualties. Rail service along the crucial Tinmodane International Railway line was also suspended due to blockage by rock and debris flows. Officials have urged residents to remain indoors, avoid using vehicles and adhere strictly to all safety instructions. The nearby A32 motorway, including exits to a major tourist resort, has been shut down in both directions due to extensive flooding. While northern Italy faces this ongoing meteorological emergency, other parts of the country are also under threat. Scientists and civil protection agencies continue to monitor weather patterns and hydrological data as they brace for more instability in the days ahead. As seismic activity intensifies beneath Campi Flegrai, the threat becomes more than just scientific speculation. It becomes a looming reality for millions living nearby. What we're witnessing may be a warning from deep within the earth, and it's a story the world needs to follow closely. If you found this video informative and want to stay updated on the latest developments, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps bring critical information to more people and keeps this growing community informed and prepared. 
Stay safe and stay alert. Nature is speaking.